Overlord, The Sacred Kingdom is a movie. I was able to watch this uh, at my local movie cinema. Uh, this is a anime film taking place after the first four seasons of the Overlord anime. Uh, the film quickly starts off with a sort of recap of what happened in the anime. It's about a nerd who uh, loves this online game called Yagrasil. And when the servers uh, went offline, he was on there. However, he was sucked into the game and the game is now real. Uh, he gets all the powers of his character, an, an elder lich, uh, and he decides to change his name to Einzul Gaon, the name of uh, his former sort of clan. And he's, um, the plot of the anime is basically him trying to find the other comrades who've maybe taken a form in this large fantasy world. But then he decides to sort of conquer the entire known world slowly in order to get more influence so you can look more. So if you haven't seen uh, any of Overlord, you probably shouldn't watch this movie because you're not gonna have any frame of reference. It's not a very accessible film. It's also not a very exciting film. Uh, this basically covers a uh, subplot of Demiurge uh, pretending to be uh, a demon uh, like he was in season two, uh, Jal de Boath and his demon maids. So that's sort of like a side quest I guess from him he's doing something on his own and uh, obviously Heinz has to investigate when the sacred kingdom is attacked there's a north and south and there's a, a lot of world building and they introduce uh, a new army that Jal de Boeth has he wants to reign supreme and gets Ainz involved because they want to sort of conquer this uh, large expansive empire so the best way to do it is to have someone weaken it and then have someone come in and save it it's the equivalent of sending an enemy to go crush your enemy and then you rush in and save them and you become their new buddy buddy so uh, however this movie's pretty long and it definitely lacks big action sequences there's a um, one a couple of large scale battles a couple of duels, but ultimately the, lar the two largest battles between Jal de Boath and Ainz are sort of just done as an afterthought of sorts. They're uh, like, like a firework show. They, they just animate some things zipping around in, in, the, in the sky. They don't have the cool magical duel, which was uh, missing. But there's introduced a lot of characters, mainly Nia. She's the daughter of this guard and uh, she basically becomes an acolyte of Ainz and then we get some more screen time mainly for Demiurge and uh, CZ but everyone else gets shafted they're all you know this is like a side quest sort of thing the the plot's enough for a movie but I just felt didn't feel cinematic enough I needed bigger better action sequences I feel the, the show does the same thing too you're sort of like waiting for the big moments and they don't come very thick I mean they don't come very well, they don't really deliver on the, the huge big action sequences. It's mostly like they dance around them and just focus more on the world building and the uh, thin story of finding other people. So the, you know, the movie is very like the show, but overall, if you're a fan of the series, you'll get a kick out of it. But uh, if you're someone who's never heard of this series, you probably won't. And even a fan of Overlord, I felt the movie was a little bit underwhelming. I still enjoyed it. You know, it had its cool moments and some humor, lots of good black humor in there, but it just felt lacking in terms of the action department. So I give Overlord the Sacred Kingdom a 6 out of 10.